Alright, first we start with this little sword thingy, me Bob. And we put a cube in. Just position it to the size of this um, handle. A little bit of tweaking. Make sure it's the right size. Go into a dip mode and cut it. Oops. Cut it. Move it apart. So it's the right size and uh, get rid of this. This is so we can mirror it. It saves a lot of time. Right, let's extrude this so it's the right size. There we go. Extrude again. Feed that so it's the right size. Whew. That's that. Let's give it a <coughs> bit of a render. Right, that works. Let's start with um, handle. Cube down. Um, <coughs> just mess about weight size and that. Just make sure it's size. It's always best to use a cube and then just subsurf it later on. Sorry. Put the load cups in there, otherwise it looks a bit too circular. Just increase size a bit. There we go. Oops. There we go. Woohoo. Now it's moving it. And let's move on to counterweight. I think. I'm not a swordsmith. Add a cylinder, knock it down a size or two. <coughs> Make sure it's the right size here. A bit too big. Too small. We'll do that a bit later. Go into a dip mode and uh, take out the mill part. That one vertice is delete it. The best thing to do is just put a loop cut. Oh. Right in the middle. There we go. Then take off of that and uh, grab hold of these lot. And extrude them into the middle. There we go. Oop. Bit too big. Then extrude them outwards. I can have a little strewed. Going a bit so it makes it a bit easier. And then just grab out of, oh, grab out of this and uh, merge them. Make center. Do the same with the other side. There we go. <coughs> That's his. Uh, Counterweight, I think it is. Again, I'm no swordsmith, so. Here we go. Looking alright so far. Right now it's built blade. Mesh cube. <coughs> Make it a bit smaller, you know, since it's a blade. A bit thinner, sorry. Might help if I uh, into that mode, yeah. And then uh, <coughs> make it to match size of that. Edit, I'm going to edit mode and uh, just, you know, tweak size a bit. And it's drilled onto Z axis. Let's drill again. Just follow that blade. And let's do it again. So 
Oh. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, best to put a loot cut in the middle when it lets me. Here we go. <coughs> and take it off here. And then uh, <coughs> scale it. Ah, uh, there we go. So it <coughs> looks like I've got one of them thingies you find on some wood. I'll just uh, increase that so it was a bit sharper. Here we go. Way magic. Right, that looks a bit too blunt. So, um, yeah. Let's just uh, thin it down a bit so it looks like uh, you could actually cut some weight and not blunt someone to death. It's not so colour before. There we go. And there we go. Alright then. <coughs> now let's give it a bit of a texture. Go into shaders, put our in here in. Then go to water zero. This usually gives it a bit of a shine. Makes it look like metal or plastic. Then put rain mirror up to full. And it should look bluey. It looks bluey because it's reflecting off at alt blue. When you put an actual object in, it should be alright. <laughs> right, give all of them the same. And now let's make handle. Or ilt. Yeah, that might be ilt. Give it that dark grayish and put a cloud in. Then go into uh, map to. And not, don't give it that one because that's just fucking silly. It's the same colour. Here we go, give it that. Makes it look a bit more better. Give it tube because it's a tube. And voila, look at that, we got a sword. Basic, but it'll work. Play about, wait for a sec. Now, for people watching this, I'm put this narration on afterwards because, well, it's the first time I've narrated a tutorial. And it's not meant to be all special, just a bit of a basic sword for you. I'm pretty sure it can work. Yeah, let's put a cube down. Uh, this is just to test its reflectiveness, and it's not going to work. Also, you might notice that this fucking microphone is way too close to me. It's attached to <coughs> earplugs, and it's scraping on my moustache. What's it, time? I need to get a better one. I hope you can deal with it for now. I only really did it to <coughs> do a mate a favour, so I hope you can forgive. Right. There we go. Also, you can actually understand voice or accent. The accent can be a bit thick at times. I try to turn it down, but it don't always work. And We've got a bit of a problem there with reflectiveness, but a bit of tweaking will sort that out for you. Again, this is just to make a basic play here. I'll stop recording. There you go. <coughs> Any road, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I didn't really make it for to be professional or all. I just did it because it's quicker to show someone how to make some than posting pictures. There's a photo bucket in my friend today. Um, <coughs> and if you find it useful, enjoy. Uh, I know I kind of cheated by rotoscoping, but I was just trying to give it hand real quick. Not really my cult special. Um, but you know, take away from that how you build one. You can build your own sword of your own, like. I mean, once you've got theory down, it'll all work. Anyway, that's the end of my tutorial. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I might have to add subtitles to this for accent. Shit.